Why, hello there! Uh. Hello there, good sir! <laughs> Sorry. And Sometimes I have to get my guttural noises out. Yeah. My name is Bilbo Hatchins. And welcome to Parmesan. I'm spaghetti. Hi, I stole your thunder, bitch. I'm spaghetti now. Good. Well, I'm apple. It has nothing to do with anything, but that's what I am. All right, you, you can't change me. Well, then I'm grape. <laughs> I, hey, kids, I'm gonna grape you. <laughs> I'm gonna tie you to radiator and grape you. That is like the only thing people know at my school of the internet, other than the most tired oh, yeah. of meme. I'm gonna grape you in the mouth. <laughs> hey, someone's gotta do it. Yeah, you know, someone's gotta look out for these poor ungraped people. Yeah, really. So what am I seeing on my eyes right now? Ah, uh, right now on your eyes there are little squiggly things created from protein, small wrinkles that when you move your eye, they constantly dodge your vision because they're currently swimming in the area between the lens that covers up your retina and pupil. That's what you're seeing in your eye right now. But if you're asking what you're seeing outside your eye, it's this game. I don't know whether I should be weirded out or really impressed. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the little you squiggly know a lot line, about essentially. To anyone who's not entirely sure what I'm talking about, it's a little squiggly line. Look at Billy Hatrick. He looks like such a pro. Have so much fun with his giant oversized egg. I would date, I would date Billy Hatcher. I would. We'd go out. I would, I'd peck him. Yeah. I'd peck him on the pecker. Yeah, you know, the, at least third base, at the very least. <laughs> Duh. I'd at least let him see my nips. Yeah. I mean, he's probably seen that one's nips. So welcome to Final Fantasy X with chickens. <laughs> You're just gonna do that thing you were telling me about earlier, where you're just gonna name this as a- Oh, romantic evening! Oh, okay, I guess I can't date him. Oh, that was cute. Welcome to Aladdin with chickens. Yeah. I- I legitimately, like, I'm sure there is so much pornography of the girl in this game. Really? Considering it's a Sega game, and Sega fans have a tendency to pornographicize everything. Oh my god, what? Since when? Have you never seen all the Sonic porn that lingers on the interwebs? No. Wow! Okay, I have a whole new world to introduce you to. I don't want to be introduced to this world. You want to be introduced to this world. Look, I'll give you some advice. Prepare your anus, quiet down, and keep your eyes closed. Pretend that it's something else. Okay. It's been prepared this whole time, so... Which is good, because this is the type of game that requires anus preparation. <laughs> you say that again. This is the type of game oh, that requires man. anus preparation. This is like Bioshock with chickens. <laughs> How is this anything like Bioshock? This is like Trauma Center with chickens. I will remind you, I will say one thing though. That windmill with the chicken on top of it definitely reminded me of Resident Evil, the exact same puzzle. Really? Yeah. No, there's a puzzle where like you have to stop the windmill uh, so you can get the dogs to face away from the gate. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's this like, game looks it's damn the same good. Thing, but at... Yeah. Nice. This game is Resident Evil with chickens, I just realized. There's the weather invade puzzle, and look, crows. Crows. <laughs> totally Resident Evil. Yeah, actually, see, there's a female, there's a female and a fat guy, and the leader who's actually evil, and his name is Billy, and then a small one, and that's Chris, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, Chris Small, sure. Hold on. Yeah, holding. Holding. Okay. Holding. Holding. Hold on holding. one moment. I'm going to leave to get a thing because people... Holding one moment. I will holding be right back moment. and then afterwards that'll happen. Okay. Oh, We're back with more Billy Hatcher. <laughs> what? I'm yes. allergic to Billy's. I'm being talked to by a god. Me? God of chickens. Many Funi. The god of medicine, Asclepius. <laughs> you know that by art by now, because that's all they ever talk about. You're the god of medicine. Fuck ever. No, they only talked about it once, but I freaked out about it so much that it's just been engraved into my mind. Yeah. So anyway, there we go. We look like a massive dick right now. So why do we get the legendary chicken suit? Well, how are you supposed to roll eggs and throw eggs and hatch eggs if you don't have a legendary chicken suit? <laughs> Why do you have to do all that stuff in the first place? Okay, how else am I supposed to attack? Swords? Weaponry? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, this is Sega. They have a flair for the ridiculous. Hey, you can just find a nice slingshot. Alright. 
I died. That just happened. I died. Wait, you die in water? Look at this chicken wearing this little, like, Robin Hood cap. Oh, no, it's a baseball cap. <laughs> With a little tail oh. on the back for his chicken head. Oh, God. See, the question is, they're chickens, so why must they wear diapers? Because they're chickens and they can't control their bowels. But I mean, it's just like little pellets, you know. It's a minor inconvenience at best. I'm gonna run you over. Yes, that's true. Also, why do chickens die in water? Um, why does Mario die in water and Alucard die? In well, Alucard's a vampire. He's in it. Mario doesn't die in water. I'm sorry. Why does Sonic die in water? Is what I meant to say. But you know. Sonic's then a little butt face. Hey, don't call Sonic a butt face. He's the best character ever, and you're just a troll for not liking what I like. I said it and I mean it. I'll stick by my butt. Words. Well, you know, once I get to play as Sonic after I collect all the chicken coins, I'm gonna. He's gonna be. You're gonna be upset. If that wasn't like masochistic, I would definitely tell you to do that. But that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, there's like I think there's like two or ten or eighty of them in each one. I guess so. Oh my, eighty. Two or ten. I have no idea sure. how many are in each level. I've never bothered because the novelty of playing as Sonic is great and all, but. What's even better is Sam. How was that? Is that a is that a melon like from Yoshi's uh, Yoshi story? Yeah, basically, it, I I do compare this game a lot to Katamari. You, you roll things over, you get fruit, you feed them to your egg. It's, what? You know, because as you know, when something is in the egg, you have to feed it lots of fruit. That's why wow. there's that epidemic yeah. of women shoving shoving strawberries up their hooches. You remember that? You remember that time, right? I believe it was on a yeah, website Martin called Stewart. The Onion. Onion? Yes. <laughs> yep. And I guarantee you, That's people are still not gonna get it. People are gonna be like, that story's fabricated. The, the onion lied to you. The onion's a liar. It's an on. Oh. Yes, I agree. How hey, dare the plus, onion lie to me? Whenever I go so on the internet, I expect 100% truth. That's why the guy I met on Omegle yesterday is indeed a porn star with a 12 foot penis. Well, what? Yes. Honestly, well, when, when, like, no. there was a kid who was on, um, who was on a comment section of, like, a Mario game, and he was talking about COD and how it's better and everything. Kid stuff. You know, when you, you remember when you were that dumb, right? You remember when you were that dumb? Right. I was that dumb, I'm not gonna lie. I was. Uh, but anyway, so... I never thought it was better, but... But, yeah, still. He, he basically was like, you guys are all just jealous of my, um, of my 284-inch cock, and I'm like... Wait, what? That's a medical condition right there. <laughs> you need to get checked out, sir. No, I actually was like, that's an anomaly. Either go to the circus or get medical help, because I think you have a problem. <laughs> He's probably a carny to this exactly. day. Exactly. See the real life just... snake. <laughs> he lets the little kids like sit on his pee pee and like as like, a ride. Yes, like, you may pet it but for five dollars. <laughs> just pet it a little harder. Nope. Uh, More aggressive. Harder. Call me scum. Harder. Oh god damn it! <laughs> that escalated quickly. That got really weird. But I mean, Carney. So how much do I know about this game? This much. <laughs> this much. It's a guy with a chicken and a chicken suit and an egg and go. Gold egg. And it's a three save slots. But if you beat the game on hard mode, you get a fourth. But you have to 130 percent it. Ooh, there's another check coin. Yeah, you got 180 percent it. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. I got 100%, 101% friggin' Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong, yeah. not Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong 64. That's awesome. I was playing Donkey Kong, oh really? Oh, that's even harder, holy shish. I could very easily 100% Donkey Kong Country, I just have to look up a walkthrough. Or I could actually try not to be a little skanky cheater and actually beat the game myself, but come on, I live in the, in the digital era, okay? I don't need to hide magazines Skank. under my bed. Dude, what's with this sensei chicken? Um, duh, how am I supposed to learn the ancient chicken art of shitting out children? Oh, you're right! The shit ch- The shit ch That should be a mechanic in this game, sit on the egg for ten minutes. Hatch it. <laughs> like Kazooie. Hey man, it's a good idea. No, you know what's funny is that in Banjo-Kazooie, there's a scene where you have to hatch- Where there's an alien and she's frozen, and you have to hatch her. Where and what? In Banjo Tooie, sorry. Oh, Banjo Tooie, yeah. Yeah. Literally, you have to sit on her head and and, and forcibly insert her into your rectum yeah, to no. warm her up. 
Was that in, um, what's it called? Hellfire Peaks? Yeah, Hellfire Peaks. I hate Hellfire that level. Peaks. I really do. D! D! I D! D! What did I do wrong? D plus. Ah, oh, thanks, man. That's reassuring. D for dong. D for dong key balls. D for dong. There is a dong um there's an, a news segment because news segments always go bad and they're my favorite videos on YouTube. Um and this guy basically Dang. was it's like they were wishing guys birthdays, but it was in the afternoon news when everyone gets high and such because you can only get high in the afternoon. It's like against the law to get high any other time. Yeah, it's true. But anyway, so actually, like, hop to your house and make sure that you're high only at twelve o'clock. I well, I know because you're a Rastafari and you know you do that. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, I would know. Yeah, I'm a Pastafarian actually. Oh, so. you're Pastafarian. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm sorry that you worship an inferior god. I worship the flying cream puff beast. You take that back, cream puff ain't no puff at all. Yeah, all right. cream puff got the puff. Cream puff doesn't even cream hard. Oh, you know, he doesn't need to cream hard. Because every time it rains, you know, he and his wife just achieved an orgasm. See, no. <laughs> There's probably a god like that. I mean, like, every other... Humanities has taught me a lot of things. And no! No! Wow! Oh, wow! That was depressing. Is that just a water? That looked that like water, water, but it was trees and greenery. What? Yes. It's this is a good angle leaves. right here. Like, honestly, how does Billy not vomit all over every everything? I think he is. He's just all stuffed in his helmet. Exactly. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor Billy. Poor Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy Bob Thornton. You know, uh, what's his name? Bilbo Batchins. Bilbo Hatchins. Bilbo Batchins. Bilbo Hatcher. Billy Bob Bil Hatchington. Oh, jeez. No. No one too great is named Billy. You're right. I mean, like, there's Bill Harford from, uh, from Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah, I guess. But that movie. Bob Ross, but that's not Billy. Yeah. Robert. 